Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I'm going to talk about the last step in writing your divorce story, step five. So step five is the financial picture, okay? So step one is write your thesis. Step two, early days of your relationship. Step three, your family of origin. Step four, little paragraphs to support your thesis statement. In other words, the evidence. And step five, the last step is the financial stuff. Okay, so what you have to do for this stuff is um, in your legal process, you'll go through something they call discovery, wherein you're gonna list all your accounts and the, and the balances and, and the numbers and, and all that kind of stuff. You can use some of that in this financials, but you're really gonna try to get a picture of what the money situation was like. When did somebody earn money? Who took out the student loans? Who borrowed money from the family? Um, what did the person bring uh, to the table of the marriage? Um, who was making more money and when? So you're gonna um, write about this, like the cars, uh, the holidays, and you'll write, you know, what you might do is just bullet point list um, the purchases, um, the payments that were made, the debts, right? And this in and of itself will tell the story, right? You could also do this wherein you might list borrowed X dollars from relative for a home deposit or something like that. Um, and then the lawyer and the legal team will get a pretty clear picture about the money that was spent and poured into the relationship. The reason that I suggest you put this on the last page is that just in case, you may have to keep explaining your divorce story. And if the financials are on the last page and you don't want people to know all your financial business, you just uh, print out a hard copy and you rip off the last few pages and you can hand it to whoever needs to read about the dynamic because chances are you might forget to tell different parts of the story. Maybe you have to discuss it with a counselor or whoever and you'll just get sick of repeating it. So this is the reason why you have um, the financials on the last page too. Remember that ultimately dissolving a marriage is dissolving a business agreement, a business partnership. So you gotta talk about money. That's it. If this has been helpful, great. Hit subscribe and go to drstephaniehan.com or go to Substack and subscribe to my Woman Warrior Writer newsletter for tips on reading, writing, creativity, and health. And I hope to see you on class or online. Cheers. Aloha. Write your truth to power. Write your divorce story. And it will set you free. Cheers.